Three Indian soldiers were martyred in an encounter with militants in Machil sector of Jammu and Kashmir today. The body of one of the soldiers was brutally mutilated by the terrorists along the line of control. The army has reacted strongly to the incident and mentioned that the retribution will be heavy for Pakistan's highly cowardly act. Two terrorists were today killed in an encounter with security forces in North Kashmir's Bandipora. Security forces recovered new currency notes of rupees 2000 from them. These notes had been in circulation for less than a fortnight. Pakistani intruder was killed by the BSF and RS Pura as it tried to sneak into the Indian side. A sub inspector Devinder Singh Bisht of 74 Battalion was martyred and a head constable Sudhakar Rao and Constable Sanjay Kumar were injured in an IED blast between Burkapal and Chintanlar, Sukma in Chhattisgarh this morning. The injured have been taken to the hospital in Jagdalpur. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tributes to BJP veteran Kedarnath Sahni and called on people by him. Modi said that we should not accept corruption or black money as things that are a part of the system. Addressing a gathering on the release of Kedarnath Sahani's Smriti Granth, the Prime Minister said that we will keep fighting against corrupt practices. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has sought feedback from the common man on demonetization. In a tweet, the Prime Minister appealed to the people to take part in a survey on Narendra Modi app and register their views on the step taken by the government on the 8th of November. The central government today announced that it has so far approved construction of 12,83,616 affordable houses for the urban poor in 2,329 cities and towns crossing the 12,40,968 mark approved under the 10 years of Jawaharlal Nehru Urban Renewal Mission. Results of Bipur in six states, namely West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Tripura and Union Territory of Puducherry have been declared. The elections were held for four Lok Sabha constituencies and eight state assembly seats. Interestingly, the ruling BJP has not only retained its seats but its vote margins have also shown a significant growth in many areas. In Uttar Pradesh, the death toll in the ill-fated Indore Patna Express has risen to 149, out of which 140 bodies have been identified so far and nearly 200 have been injured. The North Central Railway spokesperson has said that the railway route at the accident site also became functional from late last night. Passenger trains are now passing through the Pukharayan route where the accident occurred on Sunday. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar has said that the Project 75 India, where six submarines are to be built by Indian private industry, will soon be decided. And that out of 24 submarines to be built for the Navy, six are being Mazgao Docks Limited. He was speaking at the seminar on challenges in design and construction of submarines organized by the Navy and FIKI in Delhi today. Lok Sabha today continued to witness uproarious scenes on the issue of demonetization. The opposition continuously demanded Prime Minister Modi's presence in the House. Despite efforts by the chair to pacify the members of the opposition, there was no let-up in the pandemonium and the House was adjourned for the day. The Upper House of Parliament also witnessed a din on the same issue and was adjourned several times. It was adjourned till tomorrow. On the fourth day of its crackdown on banned Islamic Research Foundation, the National Investigation Agency today carried out raids and search operations at two more premises of controversial preacher Zakir Naik's outfit. So far, raids have been carried out in 20 premises in the last four days. India today successfully test-fired its indigenously built nuclear-capable Agni-1 ballistic missile from a test range off the Odisha coast as part of a user trial by the Army. The surface-to-surface -surface missile, which can hit a target 700 kilometers away, was test-fired from a mobile launcher from the integrated test range at Abdul Kalam Island, Wheeler Island. Noted Carnatic vocalist, multi-instrumentalist, playback singer, composer and actor Balamurali Krishna died in Chennai today. He was 86. He had been awarded the Padma Vibhushan for his contribution towards Indian art. After smashing his 14th test century in the Vizag test against England, Virat Kohli has shot up 10 slots to number 4, his career best test ranking. The ICC test player ranking, still led by Australian skipper Stephen Smith, has Joe Root and Kane Williamson on number 2 and number 3 respectively. On the conclusion of the International Cricket Council's hearing into the ball tampering issue concerning FAF to places, the South Africa skipper was fined 100% of his match fee after he was found to be in breach of the ICC Code of Conduct.